all right uh, now come back to this uh, uh, account verification email dot html so in here we are using activate uh, url right so this url actually does not exist yet so we need to create one so let's uh, create it here let's say path activate forward slash views dot activate my name is equal to activate okay activate all right uh put a comma so for now we will just uh, make a simple function uh, activate so that it will not give us error while checking request let's just say return all right then what else we need i think we don't need anything else so uh, perfect no errors so far so now what we can do is we can just uh, uh, let me once again confirm if everything is fine okay user activation so if i recall so we are taking the current site and we are we are taking the uh, mail subject and in the message uh, we are saying we are getting the user object and the current site so in the uh, see uh, this url base uh, you know url safe uh, base 64 encode will actually uh, encode this uh, users uh, uh, you know what i can say users primary key and then this token will actually generate the uh, you know default token generator will actually uh, uh, generate the token of this user okay so then we are uh, sending this one okay so now when we are sending this we are using this account uh, verification email dot html so the inside the inside this we have the email content here right so auto escape is actually as i said uh, it will uh, give you a protection against the process so forgery so this is actually the mail body please click on below link and uh, this uh, domain uh, we are actually forming this uh, 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 you know the uh, link okay http uh, colon your domain name slash and activate slash uh, then this uh, all these uh, uid and token okay uh, and and at this situation it is uh, uh, token and uh, uid all these are actually uh, encoded uh, in the activate view we will uh, actually decode them okay we, we will decode them and we will uh, set the user uh, is active status to true okay so th that means uh, the user account is actually um, uh, activated okay so now uh, and uh, yeah and uh, one more thing is uh, see uh, when you already uh, click on this link the token will automatically automatically gets expired okay so there is no chance of using this token again and again okay even if you miss this uh, link uh, somewhere else nobody can use this link okay so this token is completely for you only for one use all right so that's what it is and uh, all right and now we can actually uh, try this uh, registration process okay so now let me give my email address uh, don't give a dummy address because it is going to send the email address uh, you know email so now click on this register all right something is missing reverse for activate with the keyword okay so okay so this is uh, yeah, uid token and what else okay see uh, one mistake um, in the url so what we did we actually need to uh, pass the uid and the tokens right so we did not do that here we will say uidb64 and token okay like this so this should now work
account with this email already exists okay so first i'll go ahead and uh, delete this one now i'll try for night register now it should actually yeah it uh, it has already sent the email and it gave us a registration successful message okay so okay so now if i open my gmail all right uh, so uh, now you can see we have got the email okay so when i click on this uh, uh activation link so uh, so let's uh, let's say in the views here return http response let's uh, say okay okay just to check uh, so we need to bring http response okay from django dot http import http response now uh, when i click on this link it should okay http uh, activate got unexpected argument so what is it all right uh, yeah uh, see again the same problem what happened so uh, in the activate also we should pass uh, uidb and uh, the token right comma token now you click and it is saying okay right so this uh, 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 we are we have now reached to the activate function okay inside this function we are going to actually uh, decode all of uh, all these uh, mtq and all these tokens and all so that we will uh, uh, set the user status to true okay you uh, user is active status to true i think okay so we'll do that now so go back to this and uh, in the define act you know in the function so first of all uh, let's make a try block try First, take UID is equal to URL save base decode. Okay, so earlier we used uh, we used this uh, base encode, right? To encode the uh, you know primary key. So this time we will use the base decode uh, with uh, this UIDB sixty four dot decode function so what this will do is this will uh, you know this will decode this uh, uidb and we store it in the uid okay so this will uh, give us the primary key of the uh, user okay and user object is equal to account dot underscore default underscore manager dot get pk is equal to uid so this will return the uh, user object okay in the else block we uh, i mean in the accept block not else accept block so in the accept block uh, we should actually handle some uh, few errors okay so uh, some of them are type error type error comma value error comma overflow error okay overflow error comma account does not exist situation also does not exist okay all these errors so if this error uh, you know happens then we will set the user to none 
okay nothing else uh, we need to do so at this point we can actually uh, you know actually check check the token okay so if uh, user is um, not none okay so user is not none uh, means uh, we don't have any error we got the uh, you know we got the user here so then what should do uh, you know uh, none and the token also we should check right to uh, default token generator dot this time it is a check token okay not uh, uh, you see uh, we used the default token generator dot make token of a user to create a token right so now we have uh, the token and we want to take out the user from it right so that's why we are using the check token function uh, with the user okay comma token okay so this will actually uh, check uh, check the token and then user dot is active is equal to true okay so now so all these things gets passed then we are setting the user uh, status to true then we'll say user uh, dot save okay let's do a message success a request comma congratulations uh, not configuration is congratulations your account is activated all right so again any message you can give now return redirect to redirect to redirect to the login okay so else messages dot error request comma invalid activation link okay and this will also return okay this, so we will return a redirect to um, maybe register okay so now uh, let's uh, let's first check uh, you see uh, this email address okay so now we have the is active status uh, you know is active status uh, false now let me click on this congratulations your account is activated so now if i refresh this page you can see is active status is now active okay now you can uh, log in with this email address all right uh, so uh, one more quick thing is actually uh, what is happening now is it is uh, uh, when we are creating the account it is uh, uh, showing the success message here right so see after the email sent it is saying registration successful but uh, in this place we don't want uh, this registration successful so we need something uh, some something like uh, uh, what i can say uh, uh, thank you for thank you for registering with us we have sent you an email uh, we have sent you a verification email to a verification email to your email address okay please verify it okay something like that uh, uh, like this we i want to show to the user okay but the problem in this message is actually this message will uh, gets uh, disappeared in four seconds right so that's why so the other way of uh, doing this is uh, from the command okay so so what i mean by command is uh, we are uh, with the with the registration process we are sending the uh, you know command with the get request uh, saying 
register uh, you know verification required or something then uh, uh, when when that is in the get request then the email template i mean uh, the login template will not show the login form instead of that it will show the verification uh, you know verification required message or something like that okay so that's what i want to do here okay so we'll spend a little more time on this and uh, uh, make it a full-fledged uh, uh, functionality okay so for this uh, uh, what we need to do is uh, remove uh, let's comment this message we don't need the message again so once uh, this email dot send is done so we can instead of this register we will say account accounts slash uh, login because we are going to send the user to the login okay login slash uh, question mark inside this question mark uh, with this uh, question mark let's say the command is equal to verification okay this is just uh, uh, you can uh, you know this uh, this can be anything okay J this is just for the checking purpose so if the if the user is coming from the registration uh, you know registration form or what if he is coming from the registration form then uh, he should actually verify his account right so that's why so command is equal to verification and ampersand okay uh, email is equal to okay we will concatenate this with the email okay this is the dynamic email address okay so i am sending this email address to the login is because i want something like this okay we have sent verification email to your email address then this something like this okay so ratan.com at gmail.com something like this so that's why we are i am sending this uh, email email also okay so this will actually uh, come to the uh, browser url right from that from there uh, we will uh, take these values okay so now let's go to the login.html okay so first of all in here uh, we'll make a if condition okay, but, but uh, uh, before that i'll show you uh, how it is uh, going to come okay let me uh, see this is what is going to happen okay let me show you accounts login command is equal to verification email equal to ratan dot comma or something like this so this is uh, uh, this is going to happen okay so what i am planning is so if this is coming okay so if uh, there is a, a command equal to verification then i am not going to show this uh, this uh, sign in box okay so instead of this sign in box i will show uh, the message uh, that uh, please you need uh, i mean any any kind of message you need to uh, verify your account or something like that okay so if if this command is not there then i'll show you this i'll show this uh, sign in box okay so that's uh, that's what i'm thinking so uh, for now let's say if request dot get dot command okay so this request dot get dot command is because uh, um i want to take the uh, take the command command from this address bar right so that's why i am i am writing this uh, this is the get request right so request dot get dot command is equal equal to okay if this command is equal to verification so then that means i know that uh, you need a verification okay so you have not completed a verification so that's why so i'll just end if okay so in this place so when the request.get.command dot command is uh, exist in the browser url so what i'll do i'll uh, just copy this okay and, and this div and with the class 
card uh, maybe i'll instead of a card i'll say container and mx auto and this should be alert space alert dot info okay and role is equal to alert so inside here uh, i am going to say we have sent you a verification you see here it is I'll just copy and paste it here thank you for registering with us we have sent your verification email to your email address so let's print the email address um, request dot get dot email because uh, we have we have the email address in our browser url right so that's why now i can say uh, if he is already um, uh, verified it then i can say already i'm um, already i mean already verified a question mark then uh, a href with the login this is send him to a URL and a login page. All right. So now, if you refresh, oh wait. Um, copy this. More. All right. Uh, thank you for registering with us. We have sent you. Do, do, do. Okay. Problem is. Uh, it should be inside the uh, inside the bracket. Okay. Double curly braces. And uh, okay. Uh, see, and we did the end if here. Actually, this is not end if it is uh, else we will end the if here okay and if refresh okay so now uh, when the command equal to verification is there then thank you for registering with us i think uh, this should be a little bit uh, 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 bigger right like this instead of 380 pixel i'll say 1024 pixel right so i'll make this text center text center refresh all right so let's see when i click on this login it is asking me to login so now let's uh, let's quickly try uh, this one a refresh all right uh, so we have deleted already okay so now i'll i'll say 492 okay now i'll i'll click on this register Accounts register okay. So uh, go to views. This is sending me to accounts login. Correct. Okay, I think uh, I should put this one. Okay, this. Uh, uh forward slash okay let me try that again so but we have already created this this one this user i'll delete it 
and I think we already got the email also right you see uh, yeah we got the email but anyways I'll try to do it again now register all right and now you can see uh, thank you for uh, registering with us we have sent you a, a verification anyways uh, see uh, this is now working because uh, uh, we are sending the command also okay when we don't have command that means when i if i verify this here okay and uh, now i'll click on this link now congratulations your account is activated now if i want to uh, if i want to log in with my password yes i logged in right so now you can see i have the dashboard and log out all the stuff okay so that's how it works so i hope uh, you understood uh, this and uh, thank you i'll see you in the next one